Just imagine if the information on thousand CDs could be packed into a space of a small wristwatch. This is where the field of nanotechnology is currently headed. Now, if we combine this nanotechnology along with the principles of biology, that will lead to an emerging field that is what called nanobiotechnology. Now, this is again expected to be one of the most dominant and strategic technology in the next coming 15 to 20 years that will have its endless string of applications in the field of biotechnology, biology, as well as biomedicine. So now let us understand the difference between nanotechnology as well as nanobiotechnology. So nanotechnology is a field of science, engineering and technology that controls and deals with the matter on the nanoscale that is an order of 1 to 100 nanometers. And now if this is combined with biology, it will lead to a new field that is what called nanobiotechnology. So biology, when it is approached technically, it opens up a new area of research. But bio nanotechnology on the other scale is a field where intricacies of nanoparticles equip researcher with ways to improve and design nanotechnology. So it is a type of bottom-up technique for building small materials and building small machines that will lead to a faster and powerful technology in future. It also consumes less materials and hence less pollution is generated. It employs a variety of physicochemical techniques and nanotools to modify or build fine nanomaterials for our use in cosmetics, whether it is medicine, agriculture, and so on. So as a career, you can have various productive job opportunities, but yes, it demands a knowledge in physics, chemistry, as well as biology. So now let us look more into the details for the career scope in nanobiotechnologies. So here are the list of opportunities. So we can take and discuss each one by one in detail. So the first opportunity that you can have after pursuing nanobiotechnology is you can find a job as nanotechnologist or a specialist or research scientist. So the area where you can seek employment, it includes biotechnology, agriculture, food processing, genetics, space research, medicine, and so on. So you can avail all these opportunities at the top institutes like NIT Kurukshetra, IIT Karakpur, Indian Institute of Astrophysics, CSIR Labs, that is NPL, and so on. As a medical technician, you can also use nanobiotechnology for treating various patient infections, such as delivering potential cures and also repairing cellular damage. So this can be accomplished with the help of nano-sized particles or nanowires or robots, that is what called nanobots to repair any of the part of the human body. So as a nanotechnologist, the work you may have in this field is to conduct all the tests gather samples and prepare the data for the scientists. So you can see how nanowires look alike and also nanorobots, that is what called nanobots, how precisely it is acting on its target. So if you are a professional in food science and wanted to apply nanobiotechnology, you can apply it throughout the stages of food production, its processing as well as quality control. You may also use nanobiosensor to find if any potential diseases or other contaminants are there in food that is causing dangerous to the consumers. You can also conduct research to find ways how to keep food fresh for a longer period of time. So for this, manufacturers have started using nanosensors and nanoparticles for product packaging to prevent or ensure any microbial contamination in the consumables. So here you can see how nanosensor look alike and how these are exploited in food processing industry for food safety as well as quality enhancement.
So candidates with PhD can also join as a faculty position in central universities or colleges or as well as a researcher such as research associate, research assistant or JRFs in various research field. So what all places are there where you can find an opportunity in academics? So here the top recruiters include CSIR institutes, DRDO, BARC, as well as ISC, that is Indian Institute of Science. You can also get into research and development sectors. Now, there are various domains where you can work as R&D. So the first domain over here is targeted drug delivery. Now, the drug that we are using to cure any of the illness or treat any infections, it is larger in size, which makes it difficult for a drug to maximize its retention time in the body. But if we are adopting nanobiotechnology principle, we can just reduce the size of the drug. And now if we combine this reduced size of the drug along with its hydrophobicity property, it will enhance the administration power of the drugs at the target site. Now why this hydrophobicity property is needed? Because a drug has to cross many layers in the body that is hydrophobic in nature. Also, the formulation that we are using for delivering any drug at the target site, it should be highly nanoporous. Now, what is the significance of using this nanoporous formulation? It will ensure the slower release of drug at the target site. And now, if the drug is released very slowly at the target site, it will definitely enhance its retention time in the body. So now look at the diagram, what is its being saying about. Now here you can see is a polymer. The polymer you can take, it, in, it can be in the form of liposomes, missiles, nanoparticles, nanotubes, dry dimers, as well as MSN. So polymer is firstly taken that is mixed with the drug. And out of this nano formulation is made. Now this nano formulation, it can be either in the form of nano capsule or nanosphere. So under both these options, we have two possibilities. Either the drug can be entrapped inside the polymer, or if not, the drug can be absorbed on the surface of these nano formulations. So here, both of these formulations has its own significance. Now the second domain over here is gene therapy. Now what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is a technique to modify DNA segments or fragments of genes. Now traditionally, gene therapy, it employs the use of viral vectors as a delivery vehicles, but there are some disadvantages associated with it. Like virus we are using, it can revert back to its original form. But if we use nanobiotechnology and if we incorporate nanoparticle complexes between lipids, or polymers with DNA, it have been proposed as an alternative to viruses to deliver or incorporate any specific gene of interest into the target cell. Also nanobiosensor, it is opening its way out in a generic research. It is used for rapid and sensitive drug screening, whereas DNA chip, it is revolutionizing its way for the detection and management of illnesses. So here you can see how nano chip is looking like and what is the advantages in application of using this nanobiotechnology in the field of control delivery, targeted delivery, gene therapy and also in making of a DNA based hydrogels. Now the fourth domain over here is nano total analysis system which is also called as nano test. It is known as nano lab on chips. It is actually a type of an advanced sensor that differs from normal sensor in a way that it can conduct a complete analysis on its own, which is reaction, separation, as well as detection. So it has basically three components. First is a nanofluidic system that is taking care for the reaction process. And it usually has an electrophoretic systems to perform the separation processes and detection element to take care of the detection. So with all these advancement, it is finding its way out in clinical diagnostic, sequence, genome sequencing, environmental monitoring, food safety, and other processes. You can also go for a tissue engineering field. Now what is this tissue engineering? It is a process of repairing or restoring any damaged tissues or organs in the body. So here it is used to treat bone or orthopedic diseases, also sometimes vascular diseases, wound healing and others. You can also go for diagnosis, periodontics, endodontics as well as 
prostodontics. Now, you can also use nanoparticles in the case of plant to enhance their crop production. Also to enrich the soil environment. Also, you can make the plant resistant to some kind of climate change, whether it can be in case of biotic or abiotic stress factors. Also, it is providing a help in field diagnostics. So under environmental monitoring, control and bioremediation, we have a normal nanocrystals. Now, what is the significance of having this nanocrystals? We have a novel properties of titanium di dioxide that is at present is the most promising photocatalyst, which when mixed with microorganism is capable of breaking down all the toxic pollutants to clean out a variety of waste steam. We also do have nanoscale scavengers that is taking care of capturing heavy metals in the contaminated sites. So one can also look for an opportunity in industrial sector and look at how technology is dealing at the nanoscale and all. So the list of companies that hires bio nanotechnologists include biotechnology companies, bioprocessing companies, medical fields and pharmaceuticals, food science, especially in the field of quality control and packaging, forensic industry, as well as research industry. You can also get into engineering domain. Now you have two opportunity here. You can either work as an application engineer or a manufacturing engineer. Now, if you are working as an application engineer, the job you may have here is to develop a product and improve its property. Whereas under manufacturing engineer, you may have to deal with designs, building and machinery, and also nano formulation and nano fabrication. You can also look into other fields. So the other fields over here include medical and pharmaceuticals, stem cell development, information technology, nanotoxicology as well as nano power generating sectors. Now here we'll understand how nanobiotechnology is exploited in the case of stem cell technology. So here you can see the example of a multipotent stem cell that is neural stem cell as well as mesenchymal stem cell. Firstly, the stem cell is taken here and it is mixed with nanoparticles so that it can take care of its delivery directly into the brain cells or we are mixing nanoparticle just for the purpose to enhance its transplantation process. Now we can see in case of embryonic stem cell, which is a kind of pluripotent stem cell. Now embryonic stem cell is taking care of forming all the cells in the body except the trophoblasts. Now see here, firstly ICM is isolated. Now it is mixed with nanoparticle that will make the cell particular for the site of an infection. Like it will take care of the differentiation process because firstly brain stem cell has to be made. So this will make made with the help of a nanoparticles. And now once it, this is made, it will be delivered to the site of an infection. Now in case of induced pluripotent stem cell, that is again a kind of multipotent stem cell. This is reprogrammed to embryonic like stem cell. So now again here at the reprogramming stage, we can just mix out the nanoparticle. It will take care of the reprogramming process. And again, we can do the differentiation along with it. And now the transplantation processes can be taken care by the nanoparticles. Now the greatest method to develop an abilities in any sector is to obtain an education that will assist you in charting a rewarding career path. So now let us look what are the educational requirements that is needed to have a biotechnology as a career. So here you can pursue your nanobiotechnology courses after your 12th. You can just go for a bachelor's or diploma course. Now, what are the popular course that you are having under nanobiotechnology? You can either pursue a BENG nanoscale engineering, BS in nanomedicine, bachelor's of biotechnology, as well as a certification course in nanobiotechnology. If you are going for a bachelor's degree, just pursue your bachelor's in nanobiotechnology or biotechnology. After pursuing this, you can go for a research training, project, workshops, or various online courses that are offered on several platforms. If you are pursuing your master's, you can do your 
टू ईयर एम एस सी और एम टेक प्रोग्राम इन नैनो बायोटेक्नोलॉजी और बायोटेक्नोलॉजी प्रोग्राम सो इफ यू आर बी एस सी ग्रेजुएट लाइक इफ यू परस्यूड योर बैचलर्स इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोटेक्नोलॉजी लाइफ साइंसिस अलाइड साइंसिस अप्लाइड साइंसिस माइक्रो बायोलॉजी और एनी ऑफ द फील्ड दैट यू कैन गो फॉर योर मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम नाउ कमिंग टू पी एच डी इफ यू हैव डन योर मास्टर्स of two year masters program msc or mtech in any of the biotechnology or nano biotechnology courses you can directly go for a phd now what are the colleges or universities that are offering phd it can be iit kanruki iit karakpur nit kurukshetra nit calicut amiti university central university of rajasthan as well as srm university that is in chennai so now let us talk about what is the scope of nano biotechnology so nano biotechnology is a futuristic science nowadays people are becoming more and more conscious of using clean and eco friendly based applications to deal with their current issues so in the future we may expect some nanotech based product that can be in the form of tiny computers advanced system for drug delivery and many more so as a result this discipline it offers a wide variety of applications and opportunities whether it is in the field of medical healthcare pharmaceutical environment industry etc so if any student if he or she is wanted to pursue their career in the nano biotechnology can go a step ahead so here i am to conclude my topic if anyone wanted to get started in nanobiotech can get certified via biotechnicas nanobiotechnology certification program that is curated as per the industry requirements so here in the link given below just visit the link and roll for the course get certified and get benefited so thank you everyone for watching this session if you like the session do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel also share the certification link to all your friends and colleagues so if they wanted to pursue their career in this field can get a step ahead so thank you everyone once again for your time and patience meet you in the next video till then bye bye take care